Alright, share love to here, and we're checking out WOG, the quest to kill 10 rats on core games. Uh, WOG st standing for World of Graphics. This one's by creator Bargle Bargle. Twitchy Dungeon Masher, masher for Twitchy Dungeon Rats. Insert disc 1 of 17 to boot. World of Graphics, the quest to kill 10 rats. So very cool uh, retro style, old school PC uh, homage here. Uh, you can see even the thumbnails like super pixelated, really cool. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward game you're gonna see. So we're gonna hop in and look at this UI. It's like really old school dungeon crawler. Got a bunch of options you don't need, stats all over the place, taking up more than half the screen. And, and I guess if you don't really know games from that era, I could see like people from the newer generations not understanding w these design choices, you know? Why would you have the UI taken up more than half the screen? Uh, you know, like, nowadays you just don't see games being made like this. On the most part. So, pretty much what we're doing, you're going to see these little wanted signs, or they're, they're all different shapes, and some of them look like altars, some of them look like uh, ghost rats or whatever. And the only quest there is in this game is the quest to kill 10 rats. So you're just constantly refreshing that quest. You can see it pops up in the current quests on the right there. And we're just killing rats. That's all that's all we're doing. But for a couple minutes fun, um it works pretty good, you know. I, I wouldn't suggest this as like a prolonged uh play. You know, you need you don't want to play this for like an hour or two, you probably drive yourself crazy but for a couple of minutes fun uh, get your points out of it I think this this game really works well for that so yeah lots of different weapons in the chest you can pick up um, as you're as you're playing there's equipment that you'll pick up but it just like equips automatically <laughs> so really everything's kind of done for you so really all you're doing is accepting the quests and killing the rats it's really just that straightforward But I think as far as uh, paying homage to uh, the 90s PC RPGs, like I think this really nails it right on the head. Um, really, really feels like this would have been released in like 1998, never mind 2018 or whenever it was released. Let's see, let's see what it was. I'm curious. No. 2021, okay, so. Last year from where we are right now. But yeah, Fargo Bargo is definitely a creator to check out. Um, lots of fun games that she's put out and lots of uh, really good community content. Uh, if any of you have tried the pinball game, Um, the pirate pinball game that's in a lot of games on com from community content that was one of hers, one of her creations. Let's go. 
Hold on here. Ah, uh, the server the server was lagging. Oh, we got a key. That means we could go fight the boss if we want. The big rat boss, big cheese. Hey, give me that stuff. So yeah, really, what what you see is what you get here. Um, no matter which way you you run, you're gonna see more or less the same thing. You're always fighting the same rats, getting the same quests. So like I said, it's not something you're meant to be playing for hours on end. It's something you're you're meant to play a couple minutes a day or a couple minutes here and there and get that 90s nostalgia fix uh, for PC gaming. I think it's, like I said, really nails the, uh, real, really nails that uh, nostalgia for me. Like it really looks exactly like an old school PC game before they really knew what they wanted to do with RPGs, you know? I think because there's the reward point system in this game and all the leveling up and the constant just like ding 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 like constant gratification constantly being rewarding I think that's really uh, one of the things this game excels at like even though you're just doing the same thing you're having all this all these rewards popping up in your face that you know what you know what what is the fun of a slot machine or something like that you know most people say would say you're just pressing a button but you get to watch the real go and then if you win something you, you know you get that gratification and in this case you have all these reward points popping up So very cool game, um, and definitely, like I said, Fargo Bargles a, a, a creator to check out. Cool, a couple cool different games with different concepts and really ideas that you don't see a lot of other creators doing. So yeah, we're just gonna stick around, get our reward points, and by that time I'll have had my little fix of old school RPG goodness, and then we'll move on to the next. Oh yeah, die rat, die. Now, personally, I find mice are very cute, but they are so destructive if they get in your house, man. Such a pain. They just chew everything. Chew and poop on everything. If not, I wouldn't mind letting them stick around, but... You know, if they were just scurrying in the walls once in a while to stay out of the, out of the cold. You know, I'm I'm up in Canada, so I could, I could get it why they don't want to be outside in the winter. But like I said, they're just too destructive. Those little guys. So you must kill. You must smash.
So some cool like uh, Halloween rock music going on here. <coughs> it's kind of funny to read the comments for this game because some people don't really get the uh, the concept of the game. You know, like I think somebody said, "Oh, you should add more creatures and more quests," but I mean that really <laughs> defeats the purpose of the game. It's kind of like a joke on on those old school games. So I actually really like it the way it is. Oh, did we hit our cap? I believe we did. And I mean leveling up and all the points popping up in your face, that's always nice. So yeah, definitely uh, check this game out if you want some quick mindless action. Um, get your reward points for the day, it doesn't take that long. Um, you know, I, I, I do say have a couple games where you get your reward points on entrance just so you can get through your points of the day um, in a timely manner. Uh, you don't want it to take up too long. And then you can go on to playing what you want to play. But at the same time, you want to have games that you're getting points from that you're actually doing something that's actually fun and you're not just logging in and then standing there in the lobby. So I think this is really a good game to have a, you know, a couple minutes of fun a day or every other day to get your points from. So definitely one to suggest. And that was... World of Graphics, The Quest to Kill 10 Rats by Vargo Bargo. Check it out. Share love out.